Six tips and things to keep in mind that will help you design awesome website headers. The first tip is keep it simple. Your header has three purposes, navigation, conversions, and branding. We're gonna talk about conversions in a second and branding is easy. Just add in your logo and make sure the styling, so the fonts, the layout, the color choices, and all of that good stuff fits your brand. But navigation is by far the most important. If your header is too complex, if there's too much going on, if it has too many links or if there's too much clicking involved, it's not doing its first and main job well. Make sure your users have an easy time navigating your website. If your website has a lot of content and you have to include a lot of links, you can use drop downs or a mega menu. Just make sure that when you do, there's a clear hierarchy and it's very noticeable which links are more important than others. And don't overdo it with flashy unnecessary effects. The second tip is add in a strong call to action and make it prominent and noticeable. What that means is add in a button in a color that stands out from the rest of the header that has strong actionable words. Buy now, order now, sign up, things like that. Things that make your users want to click. As you probably know, your call to actions are a very important factor when it comes to conversions, but they also help navigate and direct your users to where you want them to go. A large noticeable button makes it much easier for users to know what to do. Plus, the easier getting to important information is for them, the more likely they are to convert. Buy something, sign up, contact you, whatever that conversion is in your case. So really allowing your users to easily navigate through your website is really important for converting them to customers. Easy navigation and high conversions are closely related. And because your header is the most heavily used element on your website, you want to take advantage of that to support your business goals. Speaking of call to actions, please make sure you like the video. It would help me out a whole lot. The third tip is stick to the basics, stick to what works. A good example of this is keeping your logo on the left side of the menu and making sure that when users click that logo, it's a link that takes them to the homepage. Why? Well, we're all used to it. Really, that's pretty much all there is to it. There are certain things that we're also used to that when they aren't there or they don't work like we think they should, we look for them, we try to make them work either consciously or subconsciously, which takes time and effort. Your users will generally expect and prefer that your website works the same way other websites they're already familiar with work. Similarly, your sign up or login links and your cart icon should be on the right side with your main navigation, so your main menu, somewhere between that and your logo. Your call to action should be at the end of your header on the right side. Out of all of your main navigation links, the contact page should be on the right side as well. Exactly how all of this is gonna look, of course, depends on your layout. With that said, that definitely doesn't mean you can't switch it up at times. Hey, go crazy, add your logo to the middle of the header or even above your navigation. You shouldn't be afraid to experiment. You shouldn't be afraid to get creative. Not all websites should look the exact same. That would be boring. Just make sure you keep these things in mind Think about your choices and do your best not to confuse your users. Don't make them work harder than they should to find what they need to find. The fourth tip is keep your menu accessible at all times. The best way to do this is to make your header sticky. So it's always gonna be available at the top as your users scroll down the website. It sticks there, it's sticky. If you don't want it to always be there, you can hide it when users scroll down and have it immediately reappear as they scroll back up. That way you're gonna make sure the menu is easy to get to but still hidden when it's not needed. Another way is to just make it smaller, make it shrink when you scroll down. Not many things annoy me more as a user than getting to the middle of a page and realizing I have to scroll all the way back up just to get to a different page. Bonus annoyance points if it's a really long page and I have to do a lot of scrolling to get back up. What this also means is avoid hamburger menus on desktop. Sure, they may look fancy and you get to show off some cool effects, but really, in the end, they're just an extra click, an extra action your users need to take to get to where they want, which goes against making it easy for them to find things on your website. Tip number five, don't be afraid to switch up your headers for different sections of your website. For example, if you have a website that offers a service, but it also has an online store, you can show one header for pages that relate to the service and another header for pages that relate to the online store. The same goes for blogs and really any difference in content where this could work well. The main benefit of this is you can show different links on different parts of your website. 
For you, this means structuring everything is easier because you don't have to cram everything together. Too many links can quickly be overwhelming and difficult to incorporate into design. And for your users, showing visually different headers can make navigating your website much easier. Just simply changing colors can easily let them know that they're on another part of your website. Or you can also indicate the change by adding in some text next to your logo, for example. They're gonna know what part of the website they're on at all times, and you're gonna be able to show them links that are the most relevant to what they're looking at right now. Win, win. And the sixth and final tip is something I've said before and something I'll probably say plenty of times in the future. Don't put your social media icons in the header or anywhere near your header. It's a very bad idea. So bad, in fact, I included it in my video about six mistakes you're making on your website. It's a great video, so make sure you check it out. The link is in the description. But why this is a bad idea is you put in a lot of effort to get people to your website. So the last thing you want is for your users to leave your website and go on social media. If they do that, you're gonna lose the battle for their attention every single time. So putting this in your header, the one thing that everybody that visits your website is gonna see, the one thing that will likely be on every page of your website, the one thing that, especially if it's sticky, your users are gonna see the most, is an absolutely, completely horrible idea. You're pretty much telling your users that your social media accounts are more important and more interesting than your website. Speaking of interesting, this next video is interesting. So it's in your interest to watch it. Also make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Thank you for watching.